everybody. I'm back. It's Sean, uh, new study, new hoodie. Uh, wanted to talk to you about more science that we love. Um, something that just came out in the last week or so in the journal Nature uh, was a study around some CAR T cells and some stuff people did in mice. Thought it was super interesting. So most of you are probably relatively familiar with CAR T cells, chimeric antigen receptor T cells. Basically, you take the T cells out of a cancer patient you genetically engineer those T cells in a laboratory so that they recognize a specific protein from a tumor cell and you put them back into the patient. And in some cases, this can be remarkably effective in clearing the tumor um, and specifically in hematopoietic tumors um, can have really great efficacy. And, and we've seen uh, CAR T cells um, been on the market for you know eight to 10 years at this point now. Um, but they have had a very difficult time in working in solid tumors. And we're not really sure why that is. Uh, but one of the reasons we think that is, is because CAR T cells don't really hang around that long once you put them back into the patient. They don't live particularly long. And if you have a big solid tumor where the T cells have to penetrate it, they're different than liquid tumors that, you know, the cells are dispersed and they don't have to live quite as long. Living longer here is a real problem with solid tumors. So researchers were trying to figure out ways that they can improve CAR T cells to sort of amp up their survival, amp up their effectiveness in solid tumors. And they did something that I think is just super kind of mischievous. They're looking for a way to improve the lifespan of, T cell, of the CAR T cells. Well, who already knows how to extend the life of T cells? Cancer itself. Cancer is a hallmark of cancer is unregulated growth and the fact that cells will live forever and ever. So these researchers screened a bunch of different genes. They took 71 different genes that are known to be turned on in uh, tumors of the T cell lineage. So T cell lymphomas, they took a bunch of different genes and they cloned them and they screened them and they put them into their CAR T cells and they found one that will let the CAR T cells live for a very long time. And they put those CAR T cells in mice and they can easily clear out solid tumors. And I know what you're thinking, you know, it's if you're turning on CAR T cells to live really long, do I have to worry about those themselves becoming malignant or do I have to be worried at some sort of side effect? And so far in this study, there was no sort of long-term effect scene, no sort of secondary tumors that popped out. So that's very interesting. This gene might be very specific, allowing CAR T cells to live long enough, but not having any kind of deleterious effects. So this has only been done in mice. So we don't know yet if it can be done in humans, but it's a really interesting angle. And I should point out all sorts of researchers are doing all kinds of experiments in CAR T cells. And the ability for CAR T cells to work in a bunch of different tumors and to be more cost effective and to be more re easily adaptable in their manufacturing process, all of those things are coming. And these types of experiments are really going to bring CAR T therapy forward. So it's in the current journal of nature. I suggest you check it out if you can. I thought it was super interesting. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.